You guys are here because you want to know how I store and manage all of my gear. I did a video on this topic, um, man, probably about a year ago, and a lot has changed since then. I've got a whole new setup. And let me, before I even get into that, let me just say this. I am so humbled and grateful to have all of this stuff, to have the ability to get all of this stuff. And would I have gotten this stuff without YouTube? No way, not in a million years. When I started the channel, brands and people reached out to me like crazy, and I've developed relationships with companies and people, and people will send me things on a consistent basis. And so I'm able to get all of this stuff for really the benefit of you guys, because I get to see and test some of the things that are new on the market and some of the things that have been around a long time so that you guys can see from my perspective what you may want to check out and what you guys might want to buy yourself. So it's been a really cool thing to be able to do that. I'm very, very fortunate to have this uh, going on on this channel. So let's just jump right into it. The 2020 edition of What's in My Gear Room. Okay, before I get into the backpacking gear, super fast. I know there's a couple of you guys that want to know about my YouTube setup, so I'll show you super fast. This is what I see when I'm filming. Uh, I've got the mic stand, tripod, the light that I'm using, and this is the table. I just bought this thing from like Sam's Club for like 50 bucks. It's a lifetime folding table. It just folds out. And then um, underneath I've got a couple of chairs actually holding it up so I can stand when I'm talking. I tried that for the first time on the last video. So when I redid this room about three, four months ago, I put some wood up on the wall here and then I hung some backpacks on the wall and I got the backpacks uh, on these little silver hooks right here. Um, and I've got several hooks here. <laughs> I've got several hooks uh, going down that I can hang backpacks on. Uh, just keeps them out of the way, helps with storage. And then it also kind of, I think, gives a pretty cool look to the videos. Um, and I've got two more on the floor. So there's a total of 10 backpacks. Okay, so way up top on the very top shelf of, this is actually a closet. I'm in a bedroom in my house. Uh, I've got a gorilla costume, I've got a lighting bag, I've got a Maxpedition backpack, I've got a range bag, uh, I used to be a firearms instructor, and then I have a couple of fishing bags up there as well. And then up top here, I got some snowshoes, and then these are just for decoration. I've got a couple of tin cups, I just thought they gave a little bit of color to the background. Uh, this lighter is uh, a lighter that my grandpa used to have, and my dad gave this to me. My grandfather actually passed away before I was even born. Um, I got my Garmin InReach Mini, got some tripods up there, a little decorative sign here, and then we'll move over to the drawers here. So I've got everything labeled, and it may look like I'm super organized. I'm not very organized at all. As a matter of fact, the stuff that I have is really an attempt to be organized. It's as organized as I can be because when I do YouTube, I've got to know where everything's at. I got to be able to, you know, if I want to talk about um, a specific backpack or something else, I got to know right where it is. So that's really why I've got everything labeled the way I do. And you'll find that some of the labels aren't even really accurate anymore um, because so much has changed and I've just been honestly too lazy to relabel stuff. So anyway, up in this, I do have uh, my knives and tools. So inside this drawer, I've got, oh, well, look at this. I got a bear kit, bear line in here. I'm looking for that. Uh, knives, tools, uh, some repair tape. Not sure why that's in there, a little scale. Like I said, not everything's uh, labeled totally correctly, but I've got, let's see, some Spyderco knives in here. Uh, I got a bunch of Leathermans, Kershaw, Swiss Army Classic SD. I've got a Benchmade knife in there, um, and then another Swiss Army knife in here. Uh, so that's in that top drawer. In here, I just keep uh, stakes and then a lot of the guy lines for the stakes. So uh, just some old stakes that came with a tent. Um, I've got uh, a lot of line here for like someone else hammocking. I've got some carbon fiber stakes, aluminum stakes, all in there. Headlamp drawer full of headlamps from Black Diamond to Nightcore to uh, Claymore. Here's one from Claris. So just tons of headlamps that companies have sent to me. I've purchased uh, personally. <laughs> I can barely close the drawer. There we go. And then uh, down here, I just keep a lot of batteries and cables. I've got uh, a lot of my battery banks, uh, headphones, charging cables, uh, spare batteries for cameras, my GoPro, uh, different things like that. Cameras that I've used over the past 20 months uh, of filming uh, and lenses. GoPro in uh, Canon uh, 80D, I've got the Canon G7X, bunch of different lenses from Canon to Sigma, 
And then uh, I just put these bottles back here for a little bit of decoration. Um, and then this is the light that I use to film in the background. It's actually uh, an Aperture MC. These are awesome little lights that I can change any color I want to and I can control them with my phone. Um, moving on, I got uh, my ditty bag right here. Uh, I just put that up there because it. I think it just kind of looks cool when I'm filming my videos. You can kind of see my logo in the background. Uh, it's just full of some ditties from my last trip. Uh, GoPro accessories in here. I got this whole kit for 25 bucks on Amazon. There's a lot of great stuff in there. Pretty cheap, like it's not the best quality, but it's 25 bucks, like tons of GoPro stuff. So I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in buying GoPro stuff for your trips. Uh, this box is just uh, from a company. They sent me a bunch of uh, food. Ooh, stuff's falling. Um, and they wanted me to try it out. So I got this up here. And uh, let's see, over here on the side, I have uh, hammocks. So I've got uh, a bug net here. Um, I've got this awesome hammock. I haven't even had this out on a trip yet. I haven't even tried it really yet. I have set it up, uh, but I haven't tried it. This is from Superior Gear. It is a full hammock and completely integrated underquilt all in one. So like the underquilt is literally sewn into the hammock. Really, really cool. Um, if, so if, like if you're the kind of person that just wants to like set it and forget it when it comes to hammocks, you don't want to mess with an underquilt, check these guys out. They're awesome. Uh, the, bug, the bug net is actually separate um, and that's why that's sitting up here. But anyway, I got lots of different hammocks from Warbonnet to uh, Dream Hammock and a bunch of other different hammocks. So now let's jump into all of these drawers here. And like I said earlier, some of these drawers are labeled properly and some of them are just mislabeled and top drawer I keep uh, carabiners is what it's labeled but it's really <laughs> some carabiners and then I've got like a walkie-talkie and I have more GoPro accessories and it's kind of uh, sort of a junk drawer <laughs> battery that should be in the other drawer in this drawer I've got uh, dry bags uh, these are just some old dry bags that I've had for a long time uh, don't really use those very much pack covers in this drawer that's actually labeled correctly and then down here I've got trekking pole attachments. These are just all like the trekking pole attachments that you get with trekking poles and then you never end up using. <laughs> Down here are a bunch of camera accessories. So I've got anything to do with like camera stuff that's sort of like an odd or an end uh, that goes in here. So this is like the camera junk drawer. And then down here just pens and pencils and I end up turning this into sort of a junk drawer as well, but it has pens and pencils in it. Uh, this top drawer here, it says small stuff sacks. It's not small stuff sacks. Uh, there are a couple of them in there, but then it's just, again, another random junk drawer. Fire, uh, this is just anything to do with uh, fire other than this pepper spray. <laughs> Zippo lighter fluid, Zippo. I uh, got this light my fire, fire steel, big lighter in here. Uh, this is like a Zippo hand warmer. Uh, another fire steel back there. Esbit cube, uh, so you know that's in there. And then in here is uh, my camp lights. So this is just like any kind of flashlight or camp light I would have. So I, I'm, a, I'm sort of like a, a flashlight nerd too. So I've got an 8,000 lumen Manker flashlight. This one uh, shoots out uh, like a three quarters of a mile. It's a spotlight. Got these uh, uh, camp uh, inflatable lights. One from a company called Luminade. I got a Lucy lamp in here. Bunch of other smaller flashlights. I've got like a little glow stick. I don't even know if the battery's working. No, look at that. Battery's working. How about that? Uh, just like an electronic glow stick for when I bring my kids. And then in here we got hand warmers and foot warmers. And there are plenty. So just a bunch of hand warmers and foot warmers. Oh, and I've got a bunch of these Mylar blankets in there too. I probably got, I don't know, eight or nine in there of those. Hammock suspensions, yes, but it's also random stuff that won't fit in other drawers. So I need more space. I need more bins, or I just need to get rid of some stuff. So hit me up if you want to buy some gear. Down here, cordage. Uh, lots of different cordage from guy line to rope to this cool uh, stuff. This is called adventure tape. Very cool stuff. It's like this rubber that isn't sticky on either side, but when it wraps around and then wraps on itself, it like locks in place. So very cool stuff. So um, that's in here. They gave me a bunch of different sizes of that. And so that's in the drawers. Down here I keep all of my tents and uh, ground dwelling shelters. Um, this used to be a lot fuller. Um, it still is pretty full. Uh, I gave away some tents recently. 
And uh, down here I've got uh, tents I haven't even tried yet. I've got some Hyperlite Mountain Gear stuff and uh, this Eureka Suma 2. I've got uh, an MSR Mesh House 3, I think. This is the Through Hiker uh, 3. This is the 100 wing tarp that goes with it. And let's see, Oop, I've got uh, some spreader bars down here. Uh, spreader bars for my hammock. Um, this is for my bridge hammock, uh, the Warbonnet Ridge Runner. Fantastic hammock, by the way. And then in these bins down here, I'm not gonna go through those because they're just a pain to take out, but what's in them is just old backpacks and really old like sleeping bags and camping gear that is probably 20 or even 30 years old. All right, so back in here, I keep just like trekking poles and it's just easy to shove them here out of the way. Uh, this room that I'm in is only 10 by 10, so I'm making do with what I've got. Here is a really cool uh, piece of gear that a company recently sent me. Uh, it's a backpacking uh, grill. This thing weighs about a pound, maybe a little bit more, but um, this just kind of goes in here, sticks in the ground, and you can grill right over a fire. It's actually really, really cool. I can't wait to actually try this out on a camping trip. So if you guys are interested in these, you can check out uh, this company right here and uh, check it out there. All right, let's talk about the bins. I get tons of questions about my bins. The biggest question I get is where I got the bins. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought these at Costco um, and I don't even know if they sell them anymore. Uh, you can check their website, but every bin that I have, even these black and yellow ones down here, those are from Costco as well. So that's where I got them. Oh, and these drawers, um, these were actually given to me by my father-in-law. Uh, I don't know where he got them, but he's had them for probably 15, 20 years. And then I just inherited them. I get a lot of questions where I got these drawers. So uh, the shelving I got from, I believe Costco as well, maybe Sam's Club. Uh, honestly, I can't remember, uh, but it's a really nice shelf and it's just like an industrial shelf that you'd put in your garage. All right, this first bin is all of my water filtration stuff. So in here, I just have like all of my water filters, my Sawyers, my Catadine D-Free. Um, I've got my water bags in here. A lot of the water bags that come with Sawyer filters, the worst filter in the world, which is the Sawyer Micro and just water carry, water filtration type stuff. All right, this next bin, as you can see, is not labeled here. Is it labeled on the other side? Yep. <laughs> so I probably should have spun this one around. Uh, it's labeled ground sheets. Inside of here, um, I've got Polycro and Tyvek, and that's really all the ground sheets that I use. Rain gear, let's see what we got for rain gear. Um, in here, I've got uh, my uh, Outdoor Research Helium 2, I got Frog Togs, I've got, oh, some umbrellas that I, uh, these are UST umbrellas, these are super lightweight, by the way, they're like eight ounces. And then um, I've got this really inexpensive uh, rain jacket that I found on Amazon that my kids use. Uh, this thing only weighs like six or seven ounces too. It was really cheap. Uh, if I can find some of the links, I'll put them in the description below. Um, and then I, down here, I've got my new rain jacket. This is the uh, Rab Phantom. This is a very expensive rain jacket, but it is only three ounces. Uh, this is my food bin, but it's not food. <laughs> uh, my food actually got to be way too much, so it's in one of the bigger bins down there. Uh, I just haven't relabeled this one. This is actually just pouches and stuff sacks, so let's see what's in here. Uh, got, oh, this is a really cool food bag right here that my buddy Devin over at Backcountry Exposure made. Um, and then I've got a ton of Dyneema stuff sacks and bags. I've got some from Hyperlite. I've got some from Light AF. I have some from Hilltop Packs. I got some from Hammock Gear. Um, I have uh, stuff from Thermarest, from Kelty. Um, I've got stuff from Hill People Gear. So just a ton of just stuff sacks and different bags, food bags all that kind of stuff, keep it and jam it in here. I need to get another bin actually. I think I need to get back to Costco and buy some more bins. All right, over here, this is, uh, what is this? Oh, this is uh, first aid and repellents. So let's uh, jump into here real quick. This is where I keep my medical kit. This is actually overstuffed right now because I brought uh, my kids with me on a trip. Um, I got head nets, more first aid stuff. 
I've got bear spray in here, poison ivy stuff, just tons and tons of repellents and sanitizers and Picard and lotion and all that kind of stuff. I do have uh, permethrin spray, but it's buried <laughs> behind a bin somewhere. We might get to it. We might get to the permethrin, who knows. And here is water carry, and this is literally just full of Aquaclips. <laughs> uh, when they heard me talking about their Aquaclips, the company Aquaclip, all of these showed up uh, at my office. So super cool. Thank you guys for sending those out to me. Uh, I got tons of them that I just give to people now whenever I see them. So hygiene. All right, here's in the hygiene bin. We've got uh, wet wipes, my poop kit, my TP for my PP, pee -pee. and then I also have a bunch of wag bags. Uh, got some toothbrushes in here, some soap, uh, and that kind of thing. And then we've got the tarps. I haven't used these in a while because I haven't hammocked in a while, but I do have tarps from Hammock Gear. I've got this uh, Dyneema uh, Cuban fiber uh, tarp with doors. Got a tarp from UGQ, got the UST, got Warbonnet tarps down there. So just lots of tarps in here for all of the hammocks. And I like to borrow those out to people whenever I go hammock camping with people. We got our cook pots. And here we've got just pots and stoves and utensils and all kinds of stuff. I got my Evernew Titanium Pasta Pot. I've got my Caldura Cone in here. I've got uh, these Tokes uh, 550 pots here. This is an old one. This is a new one with the markings. This old one does not have the markings. Got some cheap Chinese crappy pots. Uh, cheap Chinese crappy stoves. Uh, a couple of these BRS stoves in here. I got my Soto. Windmaster down here. I've got these bands to keep the uh, pot lid on the pot with stuff inside of it. So just all kinds of uh, stuff here. I got alcohol stoves and windscreens and pot stands and all kinds of stuff in this bin. Pillows. You guys know I love my pillows. Uh, most of these are the identical pillow. Uh, they're almost all um, Trekology pillows. I got this one from uh, Outdoor Vitals and then I'm and then I've got down here a couple of pillows from Dutchware Gear. Uh, these are actually kind of cool. They're super, super lightweight and they're like air pillow. You blow them up with a straw. So anyway, they work, they work all right. All right, this bin labeled shelters isn't shelters. <laughs> it ended up being uh, camera gear. I couldn't fit all of my shelters in here. So all of my shelters are back where I showed you. But in here, I'll just give you a real quick if anybody's interested in what I've got in here. I've got, you know, my drone. Uh, more drone stuff. I've got gimbals in here. I've got lighting in here, camera cases, uh, more gimbals, uh, you know, tripods, cases, more lighting, uh, lens caps, uh, that kind of stuff is uh, all in here. There's a microphone I've never even opened that I got. I don't even know where. So all that stuff is inside of this bin here. Over here is where I keep all my closed cell foam sleep pads. And I'll just show you these. This is stuff I don't even use. I'm not even sure why I keep these around, but uh, here's a really old pad, just a foam pad. And then I've got a couple of these uh, Thermarest Z-Rests in here. Okay, over here, I keep all of my gas canisters. Um, these are just ones that I bought over the years. And uh, something really cool in here that I've only showed you guys one other time is this uh, little tool. It's called a gas saver. And what it does is you can take, say, um, this can. This can has got some uh, gas in it. Uh, you can screw it to this, and then you can screw an empty one to this side, and you can fill a uh, gas can. So um, <laughs> I'll just say this about this tool. Use it at your own risk, because uh, most companies have warning labels telling you to not do this. Um, I've never had a problem uh, doing it, and it's always worked safely for me. So you do this at your own risk. Um, if you want to know more about this, I'll put a link in the description below. But it has saved me a ton of money because oftentimes you never know how much is really left in these cans. And if you just top them off before each trip, it's awesome. Okay, in this bin, I keep my chairs. This one is actually labeled correctly. 
Uh, so I got my sit pad from Dutchware Gear. I've got a couple of these Helinox Chair Zeros, and then I've got this uh, small little stool from Grand Trunk. It's the Grand Trunk, I think it's the Nano. That's just a tiny little stool. It weighs like 12 ounces or 10 ounces or something like that. So fun to take when I got my uh, younger kids with me. They fit in that nicely. One other tent I forgot to show you is the only four season tent that I own currently. It is the Nemo Kunai two person tent. This thing is really, really nice. So if you guys are looking for a four season tent for the winter, uh, it's one of the lightest weight uh, four season tents that you can get. It weighs like four pounds. Uh, really, really an awesome tent. Uh, down here, I've got uh, winter gear. It's not really winter gear. It's just like cold weather gear. I don't know why I labeled it that, but I did. In here, I keep <laughs> just a ton of jackets. I've got uh, ones from Outdoor Vitals. Uh, I've got my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. Let's see, uh, another Outdoor Vitals one. I've got this one. This is an Arcturix uh, winter jacket. I've got the Patagonia. Uh, this is the Micro Puff, I think it's called. I could totally be wrong on that. And then I've got uh, this uh, sleeping bag liner from Appalachian Gear Company. This thing is really, really cool. I've got uh, down beanies, gloves, um, and then I've got my gaiters in here for when I go winter camping and if I'm tromping through a ton of snow. Um, I've got a, a beanie in here, some nice warm mittens in here. Uh, what else? Oh, I got my uh, Catula uh, Nano Spikes for when I'm tromping through ice. Another pair of gloves. So, um, oh, what do we got here? Oh, this is just a, a really cool um, merino wool, almost like a handkerchief. Uh, it's made by a company called North by North, um, and they make some pretty cool uh, gear that's made out of merino wool. So if you want to check those guys out, go ahead and do that. And let's see, I think that's about it in this bin here. My bin labeled food up here uh, is now down here. <laughs> it's actually the stuff sack and pouches bin uh, because I needed room for all the food I was getting. So I've got a ton of these uh, Green Belly meal to goes. These are absolutely awesome. This is probably one of the best lunch meals out there. Uh, this one is actually my favorite, the mango, cashew, and coconut. And then um, I've got a lot of these uh, coffees from High Side Coffee. I've got um, instant coffees down here. I've got drink mixes. I've got Mountain House meals down here. Um, just full of just backpacking food. So <laughs> ready to go. I don't need to run to Walmart and buy stuff. I've got it on hand. I could just grab stuff and head out for the weekend or you know, whatever I gotta do, so. Okay, the last bin that I've got is all of my inflatable sleeping pads. So in here, uh, there's not only inflatable sleeping pads, surprise, surprise, but I do got all my uh, Nemo stuff in here. I've got a couple of these, my Thermarests, uh, some of the pump sacks for both of those, and then um, one of these dry bags. This is a 50 liter dry bag. Uh, that I used when I went canoeing in my last video. Um, and then I've got a couple of these really cheap Outdoorsman Lab sleeping pads. These are like virtually no R value at all. It's like maybe a, a one R value, but these are perfect for when you're bringing kids along and they only cost like 30 to $40 on Amazon. So uh, those are great. And if they pop the sleeping pad, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. So, um, and that's what I got in the bins. Okay. And then one other thing I forgot to show you, um, is where I keep like my uh, fuel for my alcohol stoves. I keep those behind this bin here. And then I've got a couple of like, um, battery bank chargers, like the solar powered ones, uh, that I keep up here. Um, these are actually kind of cool for like when you're uh, say car camping or something and you don't have access to an outlet. Um, and then I keep this little uh, squeeze bottle for the alcohol fuel um, when I do use an alcohol stove, which is pretty new to me. I just started using an alcohol stove. And I bet you guys want to see the quilts. Uh, you're probably wondering, why hasn't he talked about his quilts and sleeping bags? That's because I don't keep them in this room. I have so many of them that they won't fit in here in this small room. So. Let's go uh, check out the quilts. Okay, so now we're down in my basement. Uh, the lighting down here is terrible. I'm in a like far back room. I've got one light bulb in here. And um, the only issue with keeping my quilts down here is that uh, it gets a little bit humid. I do have a dehumidifier that is making a big difference, but um, I'm a little worried that it's gonna damage the quilts. So, um, 
but it's really the only place I've got to store my quilts. And I keep my quilts inside of these like mesh laundry bags uh, for the ones that didn't come with like a big bag. And the reason you want to do that is because when you're storing down over time, if it's compressed, it will actually lose its uh, loft. So you don't want to keep it compressed like inside of a stuff sack. So um, anyway, I've got, uh, oops. <laughs> we'll put that one back up later. Uh, quilt here, I got a 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 sleeping bag here, I've got another quilt here, another quilt here, whoa, look out, and another quilt here. So tons of quilts, tons of different companies, tons of different options. Uh, I can bring an army with me if I want to. So uh, anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released, and I'll see you on the next one.